Sacrifices were made for the greater good as service members and veterans who risked their lives return home realize that the battle has just begun. CHS graduate Daniel Spratton recently returned home from a year-long tour in Afghanistan. He, as well as many other service members, faced adversity when adapting back to civilian life. I mean, there was a lot of stress with being deployed, especially, you know, on the days that we were that we would be attacked, we'd get shot at, we'd have all that stuff happen to us. We you know, we'd have to go back and do some things that, you know, really weren't aren't that great to talk about and uh I mean I know that for a lot of people, a lot of veterans, that I mean, it's hard to readjust. And as I stated before, the readjustment issue back home, um, you know, some people can't hack it, you know, really well. So they kind <clears> of, <throat> you know, they alienate themselves and they, you know, they don't adjust like they're supposed to. And, you know, that's why I think that they end up becoming homeless. They don't you know, because they don't have a helping hand to talk to them. They don't have someone to guide them through the readjustment process of coming back home and being reintegrated into society. Spratlin gives advice to those facing the challenge of finding their former selves. Don't be afraid of, of change because especially this kind of change coming from where you were to where you are now, it's not something to fear, it's something to embrace. Don't be afraid to sit down and talk to someone about your struggles and you know, don't don't end up getting thinking that that you're in this by yourself because you're not. And you know, whenever you need a helping hand, you know, let let us, the people, you know, be there to guide you back. Congressman Sam Johnson is an advocate who cares deeply about our veterans and service members. He shows a care that every American should show toward our troops. Well, uh, you know. It's one of the events I look forward to the most, uh, supporting and recognizing veterans is, is a personal issue for me. And it means so much to the service men and women. You know, I think it's important to show the veterans that we appreciate them and say thank you. Well, you can donate time and resources to veteran service organizations. You, you can volunteer. Uh, to help out a veteran in your neighborhood who might need assistance. Uh, you know, uh, you, there's a ton of veteran service organizations in this area that you can volunteer to help too. Veterans made personal sacrifices for this nation and I think that uh, a lot of them put their lives on the line uh, uh, to defend American freedom and some of them paid the ultimate price. So. I think we owe veterans our deepest gratitude and utmost respect for their service. I don't think we can do enough for them. United States veterans as well as service members have already proven their heroism. Let's show them that they're not in this war alone. I'm Jonathan Luke for Time TV.